Hi guys, Lady Random here and welcome back to Feed the Beast Inventions. Right. Yeah, you can probably hear this little bit of noise going on again from over here. And that's mostly down to the fact that, uh, yeah, I went out and did a... Uh... Ooh. Shush. Stop it. I went out and did a, uh, a bit of a reshuffle out over in the mining world uh, just to get that updated. And we still appear to be holding a fishing rod. That's where I was clearing out the old... Uh auto fisher up the top there so yeah let's just put that away why don't we so what have i been up to well i have been fairly busy doing a little bit of grinding sort of prior to recording on this um getting stuff done with this here setup so yeah we've been busy making plastic so we did make um some more plastic as we actually need to as part of our is that still going they are perfect um yes yeah, so as part of our uh progress towards this here the amadron tablet um we've got the gray plastic that we actually needed now which is great um so we need to actually make these two elements here to actually make the actual amadron tablet itself um so we need air canister and we need the gps tool so for the air canister pretty easy we just need some compressed iron pressure tubes and redstone that's very easy indeed and then we have the gps tool and that's why we're needing some red plastic so um i'm not obviously going to go through the whole process because i've just not connected this up now um just leave it sort of run it when i actually need it but uh, to make the um the red plastic i'm gonna run out of red dye so we, well i've not run out we have got some in there still but to check your plastic, all you need to do is actually select the colour plastic that you actually need and then lock the selection and that just produced me the red plastic. So, um, upstairs just in our UE's workbenches, I've started getting the bits set up for that. So in here, I've put together the uh, the gps tool so that's instead of redstone torch it's just a glass pane it's a diamond and it's four sheets of red plastic so that gives us our gps tool which we can just pop in there and then we have the air canister so this is the uh, the thing that actually gets the pressure i guess so that was our compressed iron our two redstone and our pipe that drops into there and that gives us then our amadron tablet which is cool but that isn't going to work because, yeah, look, not enough pressure. So we actually need something to charge the Amadrin tablet in. And it gives us a quick, quick thing here. So on the description, um, so it orders items and fluids. It's comparable to a villager trading. Items and fluids are picked up and delivered via drones. A pick off drop off location is required to be specified by right clicking with an inventory and or a tank. Um, so we right click on inventory to allow it to provide items to vendors right click on tank to allow it to provide fluids to vendors no exchange any value not learnable not there so yeah we need we need to charge it and i think and i could be wrong i think the thing that we actually need to charge it in is this thing here which is a charging station so uh, this machine is used to charge or discharge items which operate on a pneumatic power for instance drones pneumatic wrenches or vortex cannons so i'm hoping that this will work now we do by the looks of things need to make ourselves some drones as well but the uh the charging station is so simple so we're just looking at cobblestone slabs we're looking at our bricks which you know anybody who's played vanilla for any length of time they're gonna know that that is just clay in the furnace and a pressure tube so that gives us our charging station now i'm hoping i'm hoping this will work so i believe what we'll probably have to do is actually just connect this to here hopefully so yeah so that does look like the pressure can go in this at the moment we don't have any items in there and i'm wondering whether will that sit in there it does the put-in item can't be discharged. Okay, well, I'm wondering whether that's because there is no pressure. Because it's allowing us to put it there. So why don't we just grab... In fact, have we got any down here? Before I rush upstairs, do we have any coal in this chest? No, we don't. Just the pressure tubes. Okay, well, we're going to need those out anyway. So let's 
let's grab those and let's go get ourselves a few bits of coal and let's see if we can't get some pressure hopefully let's kick five down with us hopefully that'll be enough so let's see whether whether this will work so whether that's going to start increasing the pressure on here uh, are you connected doesn't appear to be connected oh look yeah look it's got a little pipe out the back of it hasn't it so let's just grab these bits back and why don't we pop it just temporarily no that's not going to work either let's pop it temporarily this way there we go so that's now getting pressure let's put that in there so we've got no problem so that looks like that can charge it look at that yeah that is actually starting to charge up now that's very cool so we might i wonder whether we can wrench that or not but yeah that's cool that is starting to charge up nicely and i think by the looks of things we can probably run it just on the one the one compressor so there we go that's cool right so drones what do we need for drones so we've got these a programmable robot almost any task you think of will be given to this drone you need to program it in a programmer uh, so that's another one. So we've got a logistics drone, logistics class, logistics frames. So would it, we deem this as a logistic task? So I, I wonder whether we just get away with just the normal, the normal drones. So we've got turbine rotors, turbine blades. Okay. Okay. So this isn't too tricky. Uh, we need a printed circuit board. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got capacitors. So we need loads of blue plastic. We need compressed iron and we need redstone. So we are going to need to gather ourselves a few bits in order to make these. I don't think there's any other way that we can, we can do these, is there? So turbine rotors, they're going to be fairly easy to make. Turbine blades again. So for one of those, and we need, what was it, three of those per, and we need four. So we need 12 of those, which means we need 24 redstone and 12 gold. So why don't we try and reconnect these? Why is that making hissy noises? That's because we've got pipe there, haven't we? There we go. We'll let that carry on. We'll need to go and get ourselves some more coal for definite. Get the pressure chamber up to the correct pressure. So why don't we get ourselves... How much have we actually got here? Uh, let's take that down. start getting the pressure boosting in those so we'll take one two three four five six seven eight nine ten for the other one there we go that can start hopefully yeah putting the pressure up in that so let's go and get ourselves 24 redstone and 12 gold if we can do it got any gold in here at all uh, just starting to process gold okay probably have to use it out of here then so we need 12 what have we got in there we've got 51 gold ingots yeah we'll take from here then there we go so at least we can make a start hopefully then towards making our drones okay so what pressure do we need for these so up to one okay that's fine that's easy enough to do so let's get these bits into here all 
you're going to start feeding the rest of it in. There we go. Oh, look! It's turning into blades. Fantastic. Right, okay. Um, again, I've still not figured out this whole how to get this stuff out of here thing. So I'm just kind of having to do this at the moment, which is really annoying. But there we go. So that's 12 of those. And so we then need the printed circuit boards. So why don't we put these blades over here for the moment. I think we need to reconnect this here. Start the pressure building up in those. Hopefully we'll get somewhere with that because we're going to need to make some more plastic. So for the printed circuit board we need an unassembled PCB. Ah, wow. Okay. So we need a whole bunch of stuff, don't we? So we need an assembly platform, assembly lasers and good no... Oh, wow. Etching acid. Okay, this might take a little while. And we need a drone interface as well. My God, we are going to need a whole bunch of stuff, aren't we? Okay, so is there anything else that we could we could make? We could get the compressed iron going um, what do we need for these so we need compressed iron for these as well don't we and we need probably I would imagine so we can make that we could probably make the turbines couldn't we and we need for this so we need compressed iron and black plastic for that so yeah we do need a bit of compressed iron that's cool we can get that going don't have a problem with that whatsoever so we've got blocks of iron let's go one two three four let's just do four for the time being that'll give us a bunch to start working with let's have a look where are we up to not quite up to two yet is it still going up yeah okay well let's let's throw that in there see how we're getting on with these we get temperature is starting to go up which is good we do have oil and we do have our LPG building up there as well now we do need coal and I'm going to for the moment let's unselect our plastic um, we need I think we need do we need cyan and black didn't we what do we need in the way of those so that's one black plastic so that's three black then three black three cyan so that's six of those that we need so we need six bits of coal three cyan three black So what we will do is pop that into there like so. And we'll do our first selection for our plastic. Got enough dye there, I think. So it's cyan, wasn't it? There we go. So once we have enough, so we've got 32, so it's running a little bit slow temperature wise how are we doing we're kind of at the right temperature we are at the right temperature which is good um, these are running exactly where they should be which is fine so it's really just sort of this part here isn't it where it's taking a little bit of time just to uh, get our, our stuff together but yeah it will give us a thousand mega buckets for every hundred that we get which is cool let's have a look and see how we're doing here we're nearly nearly up to our two which means that we can get our our iron I'm a little obviously a little concerned about this despawning so I kind of need to stay 
nearby with it just because the pressure is getting there are we up to 1.6 creeping up how are we doing with our oh, plenty of coal which is good so that's currently at 1.7 that's at 1.7 so I think it's getting there still going up how are we doing here this is like watching paint dry isn't it 72 have we produced any plastic yet no we haven't so we're going to need to get some red dye um we are going to need other dyes as well at some point i would imagine probably after this is done there we go 82 oh it's getting ever closer we're still at 1.7 but it's still going up which is good 1.8 for you 1.8 for you perfect how's our little tablet doing that's 1.8 so yeah it's ticking up considering we are running this whole lot off of two air compressors that's pretty cool not unhappy with that whatsoever okay should be pretty close oh yep looks like we've pulled our first plastic through so that should have made us there we go so that's one sheet of cyan plastic so far now what i might do is take out the extra coal so it's not going to make any more until we've actually switched over the type of plastic that we actually need for it so back up to 16 so that's good that's good right we are nearly there we are nearly there six and six perfect plenty of oil still which is good so we've got to try and find something we can do with the diesel now we could re-refine the diesel i believe um so we might be able to use this and then put that back into the tank afterwards and actually get ourselves a little bit more lpg maybe um not 100 percent sure uh, 1.9 so this must be in theory at 1.9 as well fabulous that hopefully hasn't despawned those blocks nope they're still there which is good very close now it's terribly exciting isn't it it's like watching paint dry or plastic melt or whatever you want to call it how are we doing here 56 good good Point nine. Oh, yeah that's exactly what i didn't want to happen right okay how frustrating so this is a note to self do not put the stuff into there until such times that it has actually uh, got up to the right pressure because that kind of thing happens that despawn which is really annoying because that's happened before okay are we there yet we're at two excellent so now that can go in there let's feed that in so there we go so that is now that's gone down to 1.9 why has that gone down oh is that because the thing opened how did that drop that was definitely absolutely 100 percent definitely at two Urgh. why did you drop Urgh. okay let's have a look how are we doing here 14 so does that mean that that has made another one that's on number two perfect so on the last one for that come on get up to two for the love of god i think gotta get up to fifty thousand. i think isn't it go on you know you want to no it's more than fifty thousand. wow come on just edging closer uh 
does it tell us what it needs to be? So what, no problems. That's up to two. Excellent. So that should now... That should have actually changed that. Again, this is the thing. For some reason, the animation on this it isn't changing. It's staying until I pick it up. No, that stains a block of iron. Ah. Why has that not worked? I know we've got to wait for that whole pressure thing to go up again. That is just annoying. That is really annoying. Okay. So, it is what it is. Let's go get ourselves some more coal. And let's go and have a look and see whether we actually have any compressed iron already. So, we'll get ourselves another another 10 I think we might have some what have we got we've got eight well that's fine because we only need four to get the blades done so that's okay I can deal with that let's whack another another five into each of these let's get that pressure back up again uh, hopefully this is still hovering where it should do. Yes, it is. And here we are at 80. So we're very close to getting our final bit of cyan plastic, which is cool. So it'll stick these out of here for the moment. Now I should probably have actually brought myself a workbench down and that's probably something we could do with down here. That's some kind of workbench. So do we have one in any of our chests? Yes, we do. Fantastic. Right, let's take that. Let's get this downstairs. And we'll put ourselves, put ourselves a little workbench in and we'll pop it there. Okay, so the blades. Is it like that? Is it like that? What do we need? Nope, completely not like that at all. There we go, like this and like this. So there we go, that gives us our turbine rotors. Uh, so we can get those upstairs, we can get those into our into our UEs. And like a so. So why don't we put those into Put them into this one here. Like so. And what do we need for the uh, the other bits? Oh, not for those. So the capacitors, so that is these. So we actually need six of those, don't we? So we need redstone as well. So we need redstone for each of those, I think, by the looks of things. So that'll be six more redstone. doing pressure are you building up again up to 1.6 okay it's going up it is going up. up to 22 does that mean that has made our final one it has fantastic so we'll now change our selection and we'll lock in let's make sure we pick the right one locking in the black plastic and we'll throw that into there like so Probably. Did I take all of that? I did, didn't I? Let's have a look. What pressure do we actually need for these capacitors? I only need one. Okay. Well, I know we've only got four. But let's take three of those. And it does mean that we can actually get our cyan, our cyan, uh, what do we call it? Capacitors. There we go. They only need one. I'm going to go with that. So we need three of those, three of those, and three of those. So let's go one, two, three. Pop 
pop this into here. So in comes the plastic. And then finally in comes the redstone. There we go. Excellent. Let's grab those. Let's rebuild that up again. So that is our three cyan capacitors. So we're now back to sorting out all of the uh, the pressure again. Okay. So popped up there so they go two at the bottom and one at the top so we'll go there 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 like so so that's the start for those now we just need to get that pressure back up again up to one how are we doing there excellent our amadrin tablet it's creeping up it is creeping up. We lost a little bit by the looks of things. Uh, ooh. That's an interesting little issue with the interface there, isn't it? That's not at all annoying. Okay. Plastic-wise, how are we getting on? 86. So we're getting ready to make our black plastic. Our first piece so temperature wise again we're sitting roughly where we need to be this is now up to 1.3 so that's going to take a little while that is going to take a little while oh. you see this is the thing I guessing probably we need more of these I'm not sure that they actually produce quite enough Let's see, is there any other better compressor? So we've got an electrostatic compressor. So incredibly difficult to do in the world. It's really, it's reality creating energy from lightning. When the machine gets hit by lightning, it produces 20,000 instantly. To increase the chance that the machine will be hit, you can make a grid of iron bars and attach it to this machine. The bolt will then travel through the bars into the machine. Okay, so that's one way of making it. So we've got a creative compressor. We don't want that. Liquid compressor. This can generate compressed air using various liquids. Ooh. Okay. That could help us. So we've got an advanced liquid compressor. So it also produces heat. So this isn't, this isn't quite as efficient. Um, this one has a slightly lower efficiency. So I am wondering... So redstone flux into compressed air. What's redstone flux? Hmm, why is it not giving us flux that's a flux crystal redstone flux crystal block hmm hmm don't know I'm thinking possibly the liquid one might be our best bet and making that so we'll need a normal compressor so we'll need to make another air compressor or could we is this give it this give better see that's five you see that's the same i think these are only yeah these are only five as well whereas these are 20. so compress air using any fuel from burning the furnace however this one generates 50 and also produces heat the higher the heat the lower the efficiency hmm so it won't explode so we need five of that. We need advanced pressure tubes, which we need to make the assembly. Yeah, you see, we need to look at all of these again, don't we? That is going to be one of the challenges, I think, with this. 
have we got a bit oh yeah first bit of black plastic is is really for us it's about getting all of these machines together to actually try and make all of this stuff is that still going up it's going up a little bit isn't it 1.8 so i'm guessing so this will work this will work but we're going to need quite quite a bit of time and quite a few of these things so yeah i'm kind of thinking we probably need to make another couple of these to sit on top of those um, in order to try and increase the amount of air that we're getting to try and get these things going. I mean, obviously, once we disconnect all of these here and we've got our plastic, that means it's going to be focusing all of the air pressure going into the pressure chamber. That's getting close. That's 1.9. We needed to go over 5 last time, didn't we? Hmm. Oil wise, yeah, we should be fine for oil. I think we're producing, producing enough. Yeah, we've got 16,000 in there at the moment. That's fine. This is up to 86, 88, 90. So we're hovering exactly where we need to be for this, aren't we? So no valid ingredients or no room for output. I don't understand why it's saying that. But what did I do this for? I'm trying to remember why I set... Oh, is that the... T oh, that's where it's going in, isn't it? So it's coming out of there, going into here. That's made our bit of plastic. So that should be number two. Excellent. So we're now just waiting for number three to happen. And we're at eight. Awesome. Right. Close. Oh, no. Why don't we, while well, that's doing what it needs to do, go open a couple of things? Because I did, and I can't remember which one I put it into. Yeah, look at this. We've got a couple of, well, we've got a safari net. So why don't we take that? Let's take one of these as well. Let's grab our jetpack, just for safety's sake, of course. We'll pop that on once we get outside. And why don't we go and see, because we have got that very large hole that we dug when we were making our compressed armour. I mean, that's the other thing. We could just go and make a load of compressed armour TNT again, couldn't we? Uh, let's have a look and see if we've got another one just before we go. No. Just fishies this time. I've got a feeling I'm looking at this and I'm wondering whether the blade on my woodcutter has run out. Because that seems to be an awful lot of trees. Where are you? Have you run your blade out again? There it is. Yeah. It's woodcutter's gone again, hasn't it? So yeah, we're going to need to um, need to make the blade on that. Never mind. We can do that. Thought that had been not achieving very much. Right, why don't we do this down here? So let's try and... A sheep! Exciting! Right, we'll capture you. So we now have a sheepy sheep. Can we... Let's just grab that out of there, shall we? And pop that into there. So this is coming along quite nicely, which is good. Let's take that off. Is so there a sheep and a chicken? So at least we've not had anything nasty that's actually exploded on us for a while. Which is good. We'll go and pop this back in the chest. Uh, we'll just stick, we'll stick you in there as well. And um, we'll pop this back into there just to charge up again. Okay, let's go and have a look and see how we are getting on with our pressure. Has our pressure made it? Oh dear. 
Oh. Oh, for the love of God. This is getting ridiculous now. I don't want quite that much coal, but hey. This is very... This is the frustrating part of it, is that stuff just... isn't doing what it should do when you run out of fuel so we've now lost all of that pressure where we we're virtually there we've got two bits of plastic i bet we've lost our plastic here haven't we we've still got it 74 okay well we're nearly there with that at least how very annoying how very annoying indeed let's kind of get this 74 still so is that the temperature that's the problem well the temperature's okay with this Temperature okay with this? Yep, we're hovering where we need to be. So why are you only 74, 76? Good, it's going up again. Okay, let's go see if anything has happened in our wee spawner down here. Okay, not a great deal. We have got a creeper head, which is cool. So if anybody's been following the Sky Factory series, you may recall... Let's see if we can try and actually look in the chest, shall we? Nothing in there. Um, you may recall that we were talking about the Soul Binder. And the Soul Binder is something that we can actually use to change uh, the powered spawner and the uh, the uh, entity that it's actually spewing out so that's an option for us is that we can maybe look at putting a soul bind together which is good so uh, yeah maybe we will consider that where are we getting up to with this now 1.4 I don't think we're going to get there by the end of this episode because we've already kind of overrun much further than I really wanted to so what I'd like to do is get the other capacitors made because we only need the one bar for that what i'll do is i will put i'll put this coal here and i'll put the block uh the block of iron there or the blocks of iron there because uh, we only need one from a pressure perspective on that so we're up to 88 we're getting closer getting closer this has been a really irritating if i'm honest with you couple of episodes um, just with this whole kind of waiting around thing so we definitely need to do something to try and find a better a better way of of creating pressure because this is just not running enough I think you know maybe we need to have dedicated ones for each of the each of these 96 come on 98 you know you want to Go on, 100. There we go. Perfect. Coal. Plastic. Gone. Three black plastic. Fantastic. Have we got any compressed iron? No, we don't. So, yeah, we can't even make those other capacitors. That is just super annoying. So, what I'm actually going to do is... All of this is just going to lose pressure now. That's fine. I can live with that. That's coming out of that system. Do I care about that right now? Absolutely not. But this does now mean we've got two compressors working towards getting this up. So that should be going up much, much quicker now. Which means we might be able to get our compressed iron. There we go, 1.9. Let's grab these back. Because both of those should now be pushing this up. There we go, two. So... Iron in. There we go. Perfect. That's converted. Great stuff. So rebuild that. Let's turn this into ingots. We need one, two, three of those. Uh, pressure wise, we're at one, so we're actually at the perfect point for this. So let's get these compressors made uh, compressors, capacitors even made so there's our black plastic in there goes the redstone 
and finally this should be the compressed iron in there we go and there's our capacitors excellent great stuff there we go so we can now do in fairness is let's take the coal out of these we can take our capacitors up and we can get those set in here so I think they go like so if I remember correctly is that right go back for the drone yep yeah, so it's this now so it's the unassembled PCB so we're going to need hopefully over the next sort of couple of uh, episodes is to start looking at all of this lot so these are the machines that we're going to need to make so I need the assembly platform the assembly IO unit assembly laser and the assembly or two assembly lasers really so we'd orange plastic oh my god so printed circuit boards an empty PCB in an assembly controller assembly table cart assemble assembly controller okay how then how do we wait if we need a printed circuit board to make that an empty PCB so in smelting wood and we're smelting a failed PCB redstone furnace pressure check okay 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 so we need to make green plastic right so it looks like we are going to be spending an awful lot of time with a pressure chamber making plastic which is obviously just more fun than we can possibly imagine so uh, yeah this is what I was saying about this mod is really quite heavy going um, there is an awful lot of of stuff that you need to kind of keep making and it's not quick so we can keep going with it I'll probably do a load of grinding there's no point me sort of sitting there making you watch loads of me making plastic that's something I can do off camera because it looks like we're gonna need a lot of that and the same with the compressed iron but uh, hopefully that means that we can start getting some of the other bits together so I will work on that over the next couple of episodes and probably start getting a couple more of the air compressors built as well but for now guys thank you all very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and we shall see you in the next one take care bye